Hello everyone, welcome to Nightingale. This is a, uh, it's an open world survival crafting game. I guess what I can tell from it, it's like from the 1800 type steampunk era. This is where I just started the game. I made a character and started the game and it's about portals. There's portals to different realms, but we're going to start off in this first realm here. And I guess I'm... I guess I just walk through here. Yeah, you can kind of see some steampunk kind of esque things here. I picked my age as 22, which, and it said I was born like in the early 1800s. Has some weird thing about like build a family tree and lineage and inheritance, but. How now, fleshling? With a wonder you lost in our Feywild. Okay, I can go up or down, but this place... <laughs> looks a little weird. I don't know if there's like things for me to find here, or this is like an introduction. This is a still an early access game, but... Show haste, human. You know, games like this that are pretty involved, when they when they go early access, there's a, a fair amount of work that needs to be done to release a game with this kind of, you know, intention. It's got mixed reviews. Most of the reviews that are bad are because you have to play online as a single player. Quickly, before those bound fiends sniff out your despair. And it's that way because of every realm is hosted on a server. Shadows abound, yet like a fire's final embers, you refuse to be snuffed out. I come with an offer to guide you to a safer realm and rebuke death, unlike so many of your kin. Take these bloodstained cards Play them, and let amiable bond be drawn between Fay and Fleshling. Give me your hands, that we may be friends, and I shall restore amends. Amosit in kunul ame. Hurry yonder, toward portal and apparatus, so you, bare child of Earth, might abscond this nightmare. Travel to the forest byway swiftly. Across the divide, a greater gift awaits. Partnerships with we Fay afford many wonders yet unseen. Pretty cool. Whoa. This guy's got some moves. Was he going to give me some cards? Open realm card machine. All right, so forest card. We got a biome card, major card, so we got that and this guy. Play this card to seek a realm lush with forest. Play this card to seek a small transient realm. Open portal. It's uh, already I feel fly, realm walker. The fiends have caught your despairing stench. Yeah. Oh my god, there was people chasing me. It's already got kind of a cool concept. I I like the lore so far. I like the lore. Like, you take a game with heavy, heavy lore. Like, let's just call it 1800 steampunk. But make it a survival crafting game. I don't know. It, it has some definite possibilities. I'm waiting for the server right now. So, yeah, the, the, the most of the mixed things were about the server so we'll see all right so realm lush forest uh, wilds exist that serve pathways between larger realms so just like i did there count thyself among the fortunate few who managed to flee the pale's noxious proliferation 
Nightingale still stands, but earth teeters on the brink, and these wilds are far from hospitable. Sequestered so and struck by woe begs the question, Wilt thou be a survivor? The gift I promised should aid thy cause. A hermetic guidebook and pocket watch, purloined off the corpse of a realm walker. Keep these like close companions. With the man-made network sundered, entrust me to find the trail forward through these byway realms. In the interim, I hear your stomach snarling. Take reprieve from misery and gorge yourself with a feast fit for a fleshling. Preserve yourself and I shall return anon. Oh, under this mask you wonder. I am Puck. Robin to some. Oberon's merry wanderer of the night. The last furtive fay to grace your kind. Cool. Is he gonna give me some food too? He sees he's gonna give me a pocket watch, and then I should gorge myself. All right. So I've got a shoddy pack here. This is me. I've got clothes on at least. That's a good thing. Map. We're right out here on the edge. And this is our first realm here. We've got a guidebook with no entries, crafting, building, journal, challenges, glossary, codex, how to play, and traders. Okay. Party and social settings. All right. It said find some berries. Offhand items using you can hold small press F to hunger. Eating food replenishes hunger. If your hunger drops too low, you'll begin losing health. Okay. So, gather what you can from the environment in order to build a campfire. All right. So we're gonna need an axe at some point. I wonder if I can punch things to get stuff. Definitely want to get some more berries. Let's try some trees. Now, there's supposed to be some actually pretty cool looking, uh, you know, structures you can build as far as like houses go. Like there's all different kinds of styles. I saw like old wood ones. I saw Japanese. I saw like really rich type places. Just crazy amount of stuff. It was... Look at that. That looks like a place for another portal. Alright, so we need rocks, sticks, and we need more berries still. Let's keep collecting as we go. It's got a cool vibe to it. Like I said, I like... Um, sometimes you can't put a name to something, right? But I like the look and the lore of this so far. It's, it's very, very interesting to me. We play a lot of survival crafting games here, and this has got a, a definite uh, unique look in comparison to all of those. Okay. It's saying acquire raw... Oh, three of five. It took a second to get there. Four of five. Sticks. I gotta find where the rocks are. I've got no rocks, but I got plenty of everything else. Oh, you know what? I'm I'm chowing down on these raw ones. I bet you it wants me to cook them. <laughs> Whoopsies. Now I probably got the scoots. He's got he's got the scoots. All right, enough of that. Let's find some rocks. Maybe down on the beach? Look at it. It looks really good. I don't think anyone was complaining about the graphics. Ah, oh, that sun, the sun rays. Right. Oh, it looks like maybe a pile of rocks. Four. There we go. 
eight. Okay. And looks like I'm gonna need one more berry because I was an idiot eating everything. I found the rocks, they're all on the beach. There's some berries. Okay, so B to open guidebook, campfire. Basics, campfire, place. Where do we want to be? We've got, yeah, we'll probably do something right here. <clears throat> Confirm. I placed it. Okay. Add resources. Structures like campfires can be used to cook, refine, or craft items. Workbenches and other stations in Nightingale have multiple interaction points. Interaction with the fire pit area, the campfire area to manage fuel and flame. Press E to interact with the campfire. After igniting the campfire, interact with the cooking pot to begin cooking. Select your recipe ingredient. Press craft. Okay. So we'll look at the fire and we'll take some crude twigs and put them in here. Ignite it. Then we'll enact with the pot. Roasted berries, please. Okay. Autofill F. Okay. Oh, it's got a little... That's pretty cool. I like the look at that. Ooh, like I made magic berries. Strengthen yourself more substantial fare. Eat roasted berries. Oh, hey, Puck is back. Ah, you've avoided embarrassment by staving off starvation. From the lingering scent, your meal was no summer court banquet. But at least you persist. It's true. We must carry forth whilst this byway is aligned with another. One which should get us closer to necessities we'll both require. He wants something out of this, for sure. The portal stands nearby. Delay not, for the withering sands await. Okay. Traverse the portal. Locate this realm's portal and venture into the desert byway realm. Well, I like this. I like this realm. I like this realm. All right, we have to look at the map. All right, so it is that portal I can see right in front of me right there. So let's just go over to it. Look, I purposely didn't do too much research on this because I did read just comments about saying... Refreshing that it doesn't completely hold your hand the whole way. And a lot of people actually like that, you know? That, but to be honest with you, I, I feel like that those little tips and stuff were kind of holding my hand a lot. But that's okay. There is a lot of food here. Look at all these thingies. I don't, what if I don't want to go into this realm? Do I have to play my cards right? All right, so the next realm is... Play this card to seek the realm. That looks like dinosaurs and stuff. Are they gonna start chasing me again? Locate this realm's portal and venture into the desert by way. Maybe it's opening up early on like multiple portals. That way, if you want to live in this one and then you go into the other portal, maybe there's harder um, enemies there. Maybe there's more resources there, like iron ore. I don't know. We're going to find out. What do you guys... These, this is like a kind of like a first look at it, obviously. So I need you all to comment down below what you think so far from what you see here. It's hot. Can I stand in the shade? Yes, Summer can. runs through my being as blood runs through yours. Yet I've seen that dew men call sweat flow like rivers in our deserts. This heat devours spirit and life alike. How be it? 
Enduring the elements is part of the Realm Walker's folly. Pleasure sought through vanquishing hostility. Okay. Whether this pleases or not, without shelter and the means to defend it, you'll not last long. Best to test your nesting prowess and avoid exhaustion while I scour for the next byway. Construct a temporary shelter. Build a stick tent. Well, but I want to live in that other area. This is just a... It's a giant desert, and it looks like the portal is up over there somewhere. Oh, those look like baobab trees. So they're... In South Africa, they call them one thing. In Australia, they call them another. But they both kind of look alike. They have this really weird... Yeah, it looks like a baobab tree. Huh. That is crazy. Alright, so if I build shelter, we want as much... Is that my water going down now? I'm probably going to die from not knowing what I'm doing. Cooking, building. They want us to build this guy, right? It's kind of big. Okay. Construct a temporary shelter, build a shelter bedroll. Okay. I need some water. It didn't say anything about water. Ooh, I can punch with two different hands. It didn't say anything about water. Good thing I collected all that plant fiber, huh? Relationship of rest and stamina. If your rest drops too low, you'll begin losing max stamina and will succumb if it reaches zero. Rest buffs increase comfort level of your bed increases. Okay. Amenities such as light, heat, and furniture. Comfort level higher. Okay, that's traditional. Resting requires a minimum comfort level. Building the bedroll under a shelter meets the necessary. The Probably the minimum necessary requirements. Is that water or is that rest that's blinking? It's probably rest. It's rest. It's not water. Okay. Alright, so use your guidebook's recipes to craft useful tools. Make makeshift axe, pick, knife, sickle, and torch. This is all the uh, crafting part of it, which I really like. I really like that. All right, so... Oh, crafting. Craft. We need more sticks. All right, so can... The weird thing about this is... Oh, I should have made an axe first, huh? I gotta watch out for this heat. Almost like I want to go back to that other area and collect stuff. This desert, like, why would they, why, why would they want to build in the desert? Are these giving me sticks? Let's see. Yeah, one stick, two stick, three sticks here and there. Okay, so I made a hunting knife. Let's make a wood axe next. Craft torch. Craft sickle, plant fiber, and sticks. All right, let's try this. I just heard something really big. You know, it's funny. Everything you do, eating, picking stuff up, swinging, and watching your stamina, there's a delay. There's a bit of a delay. If you look at the stamina meter, it's not like instantaneous, right? Like, well, that one was. I guess maybe it is. A lot going on to cut a tree down, huh? I 
I was hoping this would give me more. More stuff. That is a terrible looking axe in my hand. Do you see that? It looks like I'm... <laughs> it looks like I covered the cutting edge with line wrap. <laughs> no one... Whoa. Hopefully there's no... Baobab fall damage. Dude, these things are like catching on fire. So I just did all that, but did that actually give me anything? Like, I'm going to have to convert those logs now. It says I made the makeshift items except not the sickle. One, two, three, four, five. Five of five. Still got to make the sickle, but I need this. Inventory. So, a wood bundle. Wood bundles elevate rudimentary and crude construction. Hmm. Extract. Confirm. What did I just extract them into? Huh. I don't know what I just extracted them into. That was weird. I thought maybe that was... Yeah, I still need... All right, how about... We go down here and get some sticks. Maybe this is the part where they were talking about it doesn't ri it doesn't like hold your hand and stuff. I don't want extracting it. it took it from me. All right, sickle. So we got three of those, and we need to make a sickle. Still, we need some plant fiber, and the sickle will probably increase our plant fiber collection too. I'm just trying to stay out of that sun, man. That thing looks wicked. It looks wicked. All right. Make a sickle? Nope. Still haven't got any plant fiber. I wonder if I... Nope. Not that. It's weird. I wonder why the torch went into my hand. Probably because I'm one hand. Uh, it's a one-handed thingy. All right, we're gonna have to go up here. I heard noises up there, which doesn't sound safe. Sound like a giant something or another. Aloe seeds. Danger. Collect a little bit of stuff here. Wow, look at that heat index. Holy cow. Okay. <laughs> That's no joke. Still no plant fiber. What? That's weird. Why am I... I just picked all kinds of different bushes. Why you no plant fiber? Why you know... Oh, it's saying... Oh, I didn't make a pick yet either. Really? I didn't make a pick yet. Yeah, we need, we need plant fiber for days. I guess... Oh, look at They're like... There are things there. I don't know what those are. I don't know if they're going to want to kill... There's all kinds of weird stuff walking around over there. Well, that's not safe. I don't know what those things are. None of this stuff has plant fiber. I wonder if I... Can I go to punch this stuff? Okay, I just threw my... I just threw a torch. Did not mean to do that. Okay, those are like... Tree ants or something, dude? Are they evil? And some weird robot looking thing right there. What the deuce? Okay, we can block.
I don't know if this is like someone I gotta fight or. Are you friendly or? Housekeeping? Look at all those robots over there. What are they doing? Uh oh. Oh, he just he just pooped out some sticks. Did you see? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was a a pile of sticks. Bunch of trees over here. Wow, you really have to run from place to place. These guys are like uh, germinating the place or something. Look like they're they're dropping stuff as they go. There's the portal thingy. Flower cap sticks, flowers. I still have not gotten any fiber. Sticks. How did I get fiber before? Sticks. Stick. Flowers, marigold. There, this is plant fiber right here. Finally. Dang, dude. Don't hate, create. I'm grabbing all I can. I'm a collector. I'm a collector of fibers. Everything needs like fibers. It's your twine, it's your rope, it's your string, you know? My character I chose was like a, you could do like a, a bum, an officer, a, a rich person. I did a trades person where I like, you know, I knew how to work well with my hands. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and make, finish making these things, see what it wants us to do next. So I still need to make a pick and a sickle. Okay, tools and resources. Basic resources can be found and harvested in the realms. These resources can be used to craft items or be refined into better resources using refinement stations. By using tools, you can harvest better resources with special qualities from the realm, craft higher level tools, and harvest from higher level resource nodes. Each tool also has a certain damage type. Creatures have varying weaknesses and resistance to damage types. Okay, cool. Return to Puck. Oh, he's right there. It slipped my skull that Earth's great citadels resulted from decades of toil. Still, I expected more than that lowly truss of sticks and the haphazard cudgel you now hold. Okay, you told me to collect it. You'll need better woodworking skills than that when we reach our destination proper. It affords the perfect setting for... Well, we shan't ruin the surprise. Let us depart and speak of your ill-favored constructs no more. One final byway of muck and mire, then this path of beginning shall fork unbounded into whatever endings you seek. Okay, so kind of giving us a, telling us to do this, that, and the other thing, and then this next realm we're going to be able to kind of stay in until we decide to, to move forward. And it's a swamp card. Great. Uh, wilds exist, serve pathways. Boots sinking into... Really? Why did I get dealt a swamp card? Look at there's an elephant over there. Release hope echo. New codex added. Okay, I don't know what that was all about. I released the hope echo. I hope that I'm not living in a swamp that's unlucky right that first <laughs> the very first area is pretty cool i think it's meant to be that way it's like oh look all the food and peace 
nope, get out of here, go into the desert. Nope, get out of here and go into the uh, the swamp realm. Oh my goodness. Look at those places. Dude. If not for Astaroth's decree, this trek would have been as easy as peach pie. We Fey are forbidden from consorting with your kind. And while my amity is yours, it behooves us both to move with caution. But enough prattle. Prattle. The bound guard Fey archways that align with temporal realms. As they're already acquainted with your despair, those fiends will emerge when you try to leave this final byway. While I know man's impulse is to flee, without pluck, you're sure to expire. Prepare yourself, Realm Walker. Once this fen is within our wake, a fine morsel of knowledge I shall bequeath. Ahead lie relics of humanity's future. Okay. So I'm a realm walker, and he's like a court jester. Uh, I kind of need to eat. Where is that? Where is that food at? Maybe that's what I did. Essence dust. I did. I changed that wood into essence dust. This extracts into five essence dust. Did I eat all my food or something? Did I drop it by accident? I I thought I had more. I'm gonna need more. Let's see what this stuff is. I know I'm starving now. All right, let's take a look at the map, see if it shows anything. So, there's me. There's the portal. We've got whatever these things are, and then looks like the swamp in the middle. Whatever they are, there's something over here. Is there any berries in this world? I thought I still had berries. Is it cute? Not cute. Man's got to eat. It's pretty cool. I'm looking out here. I'm guessing that's unplayable area. So somewhere in here is something weird looking. I don't know what it is. Okay, there's something there. I like to collect this, but I, I need to eat. There's a lot. Oh, maybe this is an ore vein. Maybe this is... What the noise was that? Hmm. Why do I keep throwing torches? All right. I'm I'm in trouble and I don't know how to eat here. Man, I could have swore I had more berries. I didn't eat all 5 of them. Where the heck did Dude, my heart's starting to pound. This is a jackalope. What is that thing? No, 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 no. You need to be revived. What? I'm dead? How can I be revived? I'm in single player. All right, so we're going to find out what happens when you die. Gather useful resources from slain creatures. Maybe I should have used the knife or something. I'm going back in. I'm going back in. That evil thing is still there. Ew. 
Yeah, that knife works way better. Tier 1 Predator. Okay. Get all my stuff back. In my Zephyr chest. Capacity 10 of 75. I took everything. Oh, wait. Did I... I transferred it the wrong way, didn't I? I did. All right. So, we've got one piece of meat here. Maybe I can make a fire? Uh, okay, so building, we got resting, survival, crafting, cooking, roasted meat. So all of those are going to be in the same one. I don't want to track it. I want to, I want to, I want a campfire. What the deuce? What am I missing here? I'm in a guidebook in crafting, building. There it is. Okay, place. Place is a little scary because that guy came out of there. some fuel in here. Ignite it. And we'll cook us up some meat. Roasted meat. Craft. Takes a little longer. So we gotta acquire bones and stuff. I guess we, we need to make a sleep place. It, it quickly leveled up to something a little bit more difficult. I probably should have been blocking, which oh God, I never do. Mixed plants. Will this actually make something? I wonder if that's edible. All right, so I'm definitely missing something because the meat isn't in here. Oh, there it is on number seven. What the heck? Oh my god, I'm gonna die again. I need some real weapons! I need to eat! Yeah! Hook a brother up with some of that stuff. Meat. Alright, let me try this number seven here. Oh, yeah. Give me some of that health going. All right, and then number eight. Oh, it looks like I made a wrap. I made a vegetable wrap. Ooh, that actually was pretty good. Okay, cool. Increasing my health. Dude, where, I don't know where that jackalope came from. Oh my God, I made a meat wrap now. <laughs> it's a meat wrap. Delicious. Alright, I guess I better try and make a bed. I think I'm just gonna try... Should I make it up here? I mean... Uh, might as well. Um, so, survival. We need to make a stick tent. It's kind of tough in here. Hill there. Okay. Then we're going to make a bed. Okay. 
And then I'm gonna take, do I have anything crafted in there? No, all right. Let's try and pickaxe something. Number three. Immune. Immune means I need a better pick. Immune. But you can get rocks, I guess. Oh, yeah. Sandstone. We can get some sandstone out of this business. Might need to craft a chest or something to carry some of this stuff. I thought I was going to be like, uh, you know, harvesting all this stuff. I kind of need a, like a blockade here so those fools don't come in here. I just want to stand in here. The weird thing I, I'm looking at in the bottom left there, when I eat, it gives me, you know, a quick burst of the green line. And then it's got this timer on it. And it doesn't seem like those timers are actually increasing it anymore. What I'm wondering is, as the timer goes, are you not losing green line, but you're not gaining? I don't see it moving. All right, so we've got, it's, it, we're supposed to acquire bones and acquire hide. We've got two of three by killing those two jackalope looking dudes. So maybe that's gonna allow it, once we do that, that's gonna allow us to craft the next thingy, right? Uh, I might want this out of here. Okay, that's good. Pick up those. Probably do a little collecting right now to get some of my stuff back. It seems like you collect a lot, but it gets used up pretty quick. So, number one. That, that little, that blade I was using actually is really fast in comparison to that axe. When I swing the axe is like... Hey, I think that was not a tier one predator. I think a tier one predator killed that thing. Kind of hard to see that, right? I didn't know that was there. It was like a little, almost looked like a little piggy. But I got some meat from it. I need another jackalope. Now on my map, does it show my house? It doesn't actually show my house. Well, it's not really a house, it's a lean-to. Any brothers of the jackalope around? It's like when you pick those up, you get one or two sticks each time. You know, all these kind of games, you kind of want to get, you want to, Yes, you want to... Oh, what is that? Is that one over there? You want to get kind of equipped before you go venturing around. He's got a brother. Okay, I just found out you can get encumbered. You're weighted down by your inventory. Then let me craft a chest. Don't they know I like to loot? Didn't anybody tell them? Craft a makeshift. I don't know what that is. Capelet? All right, we're gonna make a capelet. How do I find the capelet? Crafting. Makeshift, capelet, three hide and some plant fiber, craft. Acquire healing salve and acquire roasted meat, okay? So we've got a capelet. What do we do with it? Wood bundle. I wonder if I can drop. So a makeshift capelet, tier one predator skin. 
says it gives you maximum health of 11, rain, heat, cold, blight, injury, resistance, and it's got durability of 40. Where would this go? Instead of this? Oh, so look. So instead of your shoddy explorer's coat, which is... 7.5 max health. If I take that off and I put this capelet on, it doesn't go there. Huh. Oh, it did go there. It took a second. Oh my gosh, look at me now. I look like a, a weirdo. wonder if I can just drop some of this stuff here and will it stay here? Like, uh... Extract... I don't know, maybe, maybe these essence are a thing. Let's extract some of these to essence. Actually, while I'm doing that, let's cook. Roasted meat. Tier one predator, tier one prey. Two of those, craft those up. All right, and then Here's my capacity right here. So 25 of 75 items, 40 of 50 weight. So yeah, that actually doing what I just did made a made a big difference. I guess that stone is pretty heavy. Acquire roasted meat. So if I eat it, does it still count? You know, like right now I have one. I'm gonna have three, but if I eat that before I find the healing salve, like, where are you supposed to find healing salve? Where the salve at? See my knife. I'm trying to look at, make sure. Well, my luck, I, I'm like, oh, I feel pretty good about my knife now. And then it'll, it'll de get destroyed or something. All right, so this is tier one prey meat here. All right, so we've got three roasted meat, but that doesn't mean that it's not going to take it from me. So healing salve, where would we find? Prepare for the common fight. Where do we find healing salve? Like, are you supposed to just venture around? Is this is a quiet, maybe on a tree? Like some of these mushroom thingies, maybe a grub or something? We'll extinguish that for now. Let's take a look in here, try and See, we've got bones. Now, the bones, it told us to get all that stuff. We didn't use the bones yet. Guidebook, cooking, makeshift items. No healing salve here. Healing salve. Uh-huh. Healing salve. Look, bones and fiber. Fibre. Ignite. Maybe we do it in here. Healing salve. You're like, yeah, if you'd have just read the screen. It says three of them. So we've got, we need to use these bones here. And some fiber. Might as well make four. All right. Look at that. I figured it out. You guys proud of me? Are you proud of me? I'm gonna eat some more food here. Yeah, it did, it went down to three. So it's like, you gotta have them both at the same time. Something to keep in mind. All right, use essence dust to restore any worn tools or, oh, essence. Uh, you can repair items in the inventory. Item repaired, all right. That went away really fast. So essence dust, so repair 40 by using repair, interesting. I didn't get to read what that said. Use essence dust to restore any worn tools or clothing in your inventory. All right, so if I go, maybe I wanna, I wanna put that in there, right? And then repair. Put it back there. The map shows Rimwalker's discovery points of interest. Also, I 
It goes away too fast. Return to Puck. Where is he? It's raining. Oh, there he is. What up, Puck? You've stolen life to preserve your own. A necessity, lest it become a vice. One imbibed by men like dandelion wine. He has such a way of speaking eloquently. Now. I've led you about around, through bog, through bush, through brake, through briar, and forthwith a temporal realm of abeyance awaits. And so too, Nightingale. First you must oblige your inner essence and choose the landscape that beckons. Aha, no need for words, only thought. The mystery of the halt. Okay. Play your cards, but beware. The bound will storm once the archway rouses. Crack their pitiable little skulls. Show no mercy. Open the portal and defend yourself. Venture into abeyance realm. What? I'm not ready to defend myself. Is that... I have to go all the way over here to the portal? To fight my way over there? So... So now we know what that dust does. Like, the dust stuff. Like, see, it's extract one essence dust out of that thingy, right? We've got a wood bundle here. You can extract two essence dust. And you need... You'll need that essence dust for things. Four S actually more for that aloe. I probably shouldn't have got rid of that. What is this? Hide. That's only one essence. Fifteen. So essence dust seems like the flowers do a lot with it. Thirty-six, that's one to one ratio. Oh, I'm fully rested. That's weird. I don't remember resting. So open the portal and defend yourself. Venture into... When do I get to make better weapons? Obviously not yet, right? These are healing salve, mixed plants, you know, food and health stuff. And then this stuff here, makeshift stuff. I guess we're going to have to go in and do something. Now, right now, in my left hand, I have healing... In my right hand, I have my knife. Open the portal and defend yourself. This stuff here is, like, pretty cheap to make. It's raining. I don't know what effect the rain is going to have on me. Alright. Do I really go all the way over there? I think... What about those buildings I saw, though? I get... Maybe we'll be able to... Cannot travel to respite. I want to go here. I guess. Seems like a long way over there. Jesus. Is that a tiger or lightning? I wonder what the wetness is going to do against a stamina decrease, maybe? Maybe health decrease? I think I need to walk around that swamp in the middle. The road. It's like a cart road right here. I wanted to know what those things are, but it's telling me to leave the realm. I'm like walking... I'm walking through this tutorial... Oh my god, those jackalopes, dude. I'm walking through like kind of a tutorial, but I'm wondering if I'm... Am I pushing through too fast? I don't think so. Following Puck and that is, is what's telling me... 
what to um craft. I have something behind me. It's a jumper. Am I even going anywhere near the realm? Yep. My navigational skills are second to none, my friends. We're gonna have to fight somebody, though. Wonder if I'm safe when I'm. Oh no, I just I hit the wrong button. I think I'm getting hit. Remain vigilant while the realms are alive. Remain vigilant while the realms align. So I accidentally hit E or F. Oh, shoot! Hey, zombies! What are these guys dropping? Blood bombs? What did they say? Bound bri bristle. Bristle while you work. Venture into the obedience. Is it ready? It's not ready yet. Look like the realm is ready. No, it's not ready yet. Did that realm help hurt me when I went in there? It looked like it may have. Oh, we got a boss guy here. The realm is ready. Oh, you guys just wait till I get a good weapon. I was doing pretty good on stamina till the end there. That guy was no... He just had a different headdress on. He was no boss. Let's get the heck out of here, dude. Help! Being encum encumbered prevents sprinting. Your path forward is winding and full of terrors. Nightingale! Yourself. Survive the realm. It's like game over, because you push through the realm. that has been lost. What if, it, what if that's it? What if that's early access? And you're supposed to like hang out in those other realms to get a feel for the game? <laughs> That would be my luck. It's been happening a lot to me lately. I get this, like, inkling that I'm like, wait a minute, is it the end? <laughs> that would be terrible. Let's see what it's got to offer. I think I it said, think of something. I thought of a forest. I don't know if that's going to affect what realm it is. Yeah, Abeyance Forest Realm. Okay. Did you see there's bears in here? Ah, we made it. With the byways left behind, your beginnings have ended. I bid you welcome to the Feywilds in earnest. This realm has long been forgotten by the Fey, left in limbo, not unlike you. How fitting. And thus, here is yours to put down roots. But beware, in short time darkness will descend, and with it, Stygian perils. Laying foundations will keep you intrepid, child of Earth. While you play carpenter, there are nooks in these surrounding wilds I must scrub for the knowledge I pledged. Build an estate, Karen. 
Okay, cool. Look at this place. This is actually kind of a nice looking little area here. So, looks like the portal's not too far from me here. There's something here. A realm transmuter. Consume minor realm cards to trigger realm wild effects. And then over here I saw something. Wilhelmina Sasse and an essence trader. Hmm. So we got a trader here. But look at this. I like a... Uh, it's almost got a backdrop here. Oh, something right there. Look, there's like a, a, a backdrop here, kind of. I don't know, you like to build up, up against something. All right, what is this? Magic mushrooms? Mmm, delish. So it wants us to make, what did it call it? An estate cairn. Maybe that's the beginning of us building something. Building, estate. We need stone blocks. We gotta figure out how to make stone blocks. Humanity and alike have relied on stone through the ages. Stone is no less important within the realms today. You have no ingredients to meet these requirements. Okay, somehow we have to get stone blocks. Now, is it possible we can get them from up there? Or would we craft stone blocks from stone? Or could we just live here? Roasted meat from a deer. This is a pretty nice little place. I don't need anything big. It's just me. It's almost like a... What is that? That, that looks like some kind of monster that's going to come out of the rocks. All right. So do we need to build a bench or something to be able to craft stone blocks? So... We need to build this guy. We need to figure out how to make stone blocks. So it takes 20 rocks and 5 stone blocks. Resting, survival. These are all the things I have open right now that I can actually craft. Or build. And then I can cook this stuff. And I have these makeshift items. It makes me feel like it's a... Uh, Estate carns require rocks and stone blocks to build. Puck has brought me at least at last to the Abeyance Realm, where I might be able to establish myself in earnest. He has advised me to build myself a more permanent residence that I might take shelter from the dangers that come from nightfall. Once I finish, Puck has promised to return with useful knowledge. Still doesn't say how to build those things. Build structures. Oh, these are all challenges. Glossary. Bones, gems, meats, rocks, and ore. Wow, there's a lot of different stone block. I, I hear something big over here. I'm wondering if it's like I find something and hit it with a pick. Possibly. Like this. Stone block of sandstone. Of course I'm weighted down. But I need to get five stone blockies. Wow, this is pretty neat looking here too. I wonder if I... Okay. That just quickly reminded me of Horizon Zero Dawn. I wonder if I should build by this thing. Or I could build down here where I was. So if we build down here, it's not a bad area, kind of flat. 
All right, let's try and build this real quick. So. Okay, create from here influences. I don't know if like this needs to be in the middle. It's a creature suppressor from human influence reduces aggressive creatures nearby. All right, so how far away from that edge can we go? Let's go about right here. Okay. Oh, look at Puck is here. Placing your state Karen safe build the state you should succumb to the abeyance you return to the state Karen. Okay, so this is like uh we'll actually respawn here. Your tenacity overrules the gusts of fate, and this fay you have pleased. Settled here, you'll soon wish to venture farther. The unending lure humankind so lure. often succumbs to. Should you hear that siren call, you'll require unbraided cards and the power to play them. Fortunately, both are close at hand. And here is the knowledge that Robin's friendship affords. Across this realm lie sights of power sealed by your kin long ago. Forsworn by Fay, even longer still. There are many sites, each granting access to ever more distant spheres. Nearest, though, the Antiquarian. Formidable enough for one so green. You must first gain entry. Passing through a seal forged by those last children of Earth, who claimed reverence for our infinite wisdom. They, more than most, knew the gravity of a contract. Their gates bar access to those unworthy, but I see that strange, hopeful spark within you. Nurture it with its own fundament, humanity. Be it comfort, companionship, coffer, I know not. Once within, delve ever deeper. Toward the pedestal, Upon it lies the means to craft the card you require. Hurry now, fleshling, and prepare. The infinite awaits. Okay, sights of power. Sights of power. Increase your gear score by crafting higher quality gear. I've stumbled across something truly... Perhaps build up my strength. Okay. So we have to get a better gear score. Cool! Um, why is my stuff grayed out? Oh, the color came back. I'm like, what happened to my stuff? So maybe I should start building it did say something like uh building there was something oh here we go crude buildings flat roof so we got door door frame flat roof foundations wood bundles we're gonna need to chop wood crude foundation of stone this is going to take a while. Maybe maybe make like a one room place at first. Now, you start with crude buildings, but then there's like um what it looked like it was almost like a a template for for better buildings, you know, later on. Where you're not just you're going to build something that looks like Japanese in structure or something like that. So Alright, well we're oh we're over an hour on this one, man. This is pretty fun. Pretty fun to get going on. Alright, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna you know do some basics. Maybe I'll make a makeshift shelter with a bed and a cooking thing, and we can resume in the next episode. Anything you guys got to add, any help, any tips that you know of, or your feelings about this game, let me know down in the comment section. I will see you all next episode.